but. As for me, no matter what Dr. Cox thinks, I wasn't going to that funeral to hit on Jamie. I was going to pay my respects. <gasps> JD, I'm so happy you came. Well, you look fantastic. And, you know, I don't mean, hey, dude, check out that hot bitty at the bar, fantastic. I'm talking about, I'm sorry for your loss, fantastic. Do you want to grab a drink? Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, I was actually talking about him. Oh, yeah, I know. So, so was I. Oh, no, you have to order. He's bussing those. Somebody's a smoker. <laughs> Thanks again for coming. Just get out without doing any more damage. I had a blast. Nice job. Well, goodbye. I'll see ya. Sorry, everyone. I, I dropped something on my toe. You know. Carry on. It's funny how one person can lead you to another. I mean, I knew Mr. Mueller's brother shouldn't have tried to protect him, and yet I was doing the same thing to someone else. Excuse me, Jamie. JD? <laughs> I treated a patient today who was mad at his brother for presuming to know what was best for him. And that got me thinking. Because I was freaking out that we hooked up in the closet at the funeral, I did the same thing to you. So, if you're really ready, let's go for it. Because I'm crazy about you, and you're right. Your husband's gone, and he's never coming back. <laughs> Who are these lovely people? These are my late husband's parents. Oh, God. How can I make this right? No, I'm no, I'm no fun, no. If only. <laughs>